Hi guys, I am back from Aldi and Dollar Tree. The stuff I got from Dollar Tree are just some necessity stuff. Not necessity, but sort of necessity, some of it. Um, preparing for the hurricane. Excuse my phone. My cousins are going back and forth talking um, because my family... Hurricane Florence is coming and some of my family live in Jacksonville and... Um, they were told to evacuate so that's what they're going back and forth talking about but um, Josiah and I went to Aldi today has been busy I may sound a little out of breath because I had to bring this beat bag in here by myself they were peaked over of course they didn't have bread of course they didn't have water they didn't have a lot of the non-perishable I was really surprised they didn't have any pizza not pizza pasta sauce um what i'm gonna do is make a big thing of spaghetti for the boys yes i just turn this around um a big thing of spaghetti and i wish i thought about it and i got the ingredients to make chili beans because you can put that in a pot i'm gonna wash machine i've been washing all day you can put that in a pot and heat it up on the gas stove i did pick up some baked beans and we have some other stuff, but I figured with the spaghetti, it can last them for a minute. Um, I really didn't think about anything else. And again, they were really peaked over. So let me show you what they have. Okay, so I've been wanting some chips the last couple of days anyway. But all they had was the sour cream and onion. I should have got the jalapeno kettle chips I I didn't get those yeah I didn't get those and I should have um, they're okay but yeah they're okay I picked up two things of the eggs and only picked up eggs because I'm gonna boil some if we want something for breakfast or something and then or a snack and then also for um, baking some some things so, of course, there's not any bread, and I posted on Instagram that I'm going to make some bread, so I'm getting ready to do that. I cannot find my bread book that came with my machine. I don't know where in the world it could be, but I'm going to um, Google something. And then I picked up some ground turkey because I already had some Italian sausage for the spaghetti. And then I got some sweet and salty cashew nuts. Um granola bars I only picked up one I probably should have got two we may have one already in there they had fruit bars a lot of fruit bars of course they had pancake mix but I don't know how you're gonna make that um, unless you got a generator they had some cereal left it was picked over they had grits left um, but they had quite many granola bars I was surprised and protein bars they had the ranch chips and guys I got my TV up here because Saya is hogging the TV in there. So, um, and that's what I meant by everybody. Well, actually, that's me right now. I'm working on different projects and cleaning. And then I have like an area of stuff that needs to go back upstairs. So, that's what I mean by these countertops or love hate relationship. Um, I picked up the Wildberry Muffin Bread Mix. And. Yeah, I'm going to make those and put them in a Ziploc bag or a container. And then J Josiah was out of his milk, so I just got him some. He probably will drink it up before it goes bad. And um, that refrigerator keeps stuff really cold, probably because it's new. But I know if it stays out a long time, it's not going to stay forever. Then we can put that in a cooler as well. Um, some beef smoked sausage. It was kind of picked over with the sausage. I picked this up because you can throw this on the grill too. And then I got some spaghetti. I really went in there kind of blind. Not blind. I kind of had an idea what I want, but I wasn't quite sure. And then everything was peeked over. But I knew that when I went in. But I knew we were straight already at home. Um, I have some classic yellow cake mix. I'll make this and maybe cut it in squares. I also picked up some ham. I know when we had a hurricane years ago fran it was a life lesson of so many different things and i know me and my brother we had like lunch and meat till we got tired of it um i think 
the conditions weren't totally better. Our power was still out, but my parents went back to work. My dad was a police officer, so he had to go back to work. And so I remember him giving us some money. I think I was like 15. My brother must have been 13, and we walked down to the McDonald's. We had a, lived in a small town. So that was the only, um, one of the only fast food restaurants, I think, that was a mom and pop or something in our area. Um, baked beans, honey baked beans i probably should have got two because trail is coming home he loves baked beans um my brother's gonna go get him tomorrow when he gets off work because they done cancel class that is the second beef smoked sausage i know it's like i'm talking fast in this video i picked up some taste like butter and i just picked that up because i noticed about every recipe i had needed some butter or something or if i'm gonna make my own bread Maybe it needs something, a little something. So guys, I think I picked up six or seven, I count the cans. This is all they had left in diced tomatoes. I know back in the day when Jason and I were first together, um, I don't even think we were married yet. But it might have been times when we were when we were married. And I had to get like the tall or the big cans of spaghetti sauce that the food bank may have given us or something. And I had to, um, doctor it up make it good and actually it was better than buying it out of the jar doing it that way um so i got one two three four five six seven eight of those cans if that's not enough they did have a little bit more then they just gonna have to put some back they just gonna have to put some ketchup on it <laughs> people used to do sometimes people probably still do, do it um, and then I picked up some basil, garlic, and oregano diced tomatoes. And I knew I already had one already on hand because I got some the other day. Because I was like, I hope you should have diced tomatoes on hand. Okay. Dollar Tree, I didn't get a whole lot. I knew it was certain things that I needed. I'm tired of washing dishes by hand. I should have gotten uh, two of these or got it from Aldi. But I didn't even go down that aisle. I looked from from a distance and it was some things I could tell that were missing. So are you good? You go to the bathroom. I needed some bleach. Um, I think everybody else, I don't know what they're using their bleach for, but I know I'm cleaning and washing clothes and stuff. Um, I also want to clean the bathroom tomorrow. So what I learned from Fran, even though I was only 15, is that make sure your clothes are washed. Make sure. Of course, you always have candles. You always have or maybe have some batteries. Um, but I also learned from Fran. Oh, gosh. There's so many lessons I learned. Um, have a gas grill or at least some charcoal. Um, have some water. I know this is my lesson that I'm finally going to always keep some extra water here. I'm trying to think what else. But make sure your clothes are washed up. Make sure you empty your trash. I know it was a list of stuff going around on Facebook that I didn't even think about doing, like filling up your trash cans with water and so forth. Um, I'm going to take more precautions this time. I don't think it's going to, I know it's going to be, I know it's going to be something else. But for us, I don't know. I don't know, y'all. But um, hopefully we won't get any flooding or anything. We do have like an embankment kind of behind our house. But we haven't had any issues with it and to the woods to the um, side of us. So hopefully, I don't know, but they're spending a lot of rainfall. But just in case, I'm going to go through the house with my camera and, you know, film what we got and get all of our paperwork together just in case. Because you never know. So we didn't have to deal with that with Fran. But just different stuff. I know if you can get lanterns, stuff like that. And I'm just talking, talking, talking. But lanterns with oil, I should have had that because I should have known better. Especially here because we also get ice too. And when the ice falls on the power lines, then that's when the power goes out. And then people, you can't drive on ice. Um, I picked up some foam cups. Sorry guys, I'm just talking. But um, I need to make a blog post about it because I just learned so much from that experience and other experiences too and um i think trail was no 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 that when i had trail i think it was another hurricane it was either floyd or andrew 
and I had to make sure I had enough formula and stuff like that for him. Um, I picked up some zipper seal freezer bags. People were also saying that you can take some of these bags and fill it up with water and freeze them and lay them flat. Um, I picked them up to store stuff in it, but I was surprised that it was so many bags left. So a lot of people must don't know that idea or tip. I also picked up some batteries. I'm surprised they had batteries in Dollar Tree, but I think a lot of people forget about Dollar Tree. I think they really do. Um, I got me a soda, and I probably have to go get a bigger one tomorrow. I don't know why I wasn't thinking about getting one. Um, Coast, everybody else thinks about alcohol or whatever. For me, it's soda, y'all. It is soda. Um, bath tissue i picked up two of these and i think that's it guys that's all that i picked up so i'm gonna be busy cooking um like uh what well, we have some cake mix and stuff and some muffins so they'll have something um trying to think what else i'll make some spaghetti so they can eat that oh ham i made a ham and yeah i made a ham so I'm going to cut this up. I probably <laughs> cooked it too long. Uh-oh. That steam falling on the floor. Cooked it too long. Um, I think I cooked some biscuits earlier. I cooked all of them. So I can go ahead and put them in a Ziploc bag. And then I threw away like some food that I knew that um, needed to be thrown away. That was just sitting in the refrigerator. Um, yeah. So you guys just keep us in your thoughts and your prayers. And I think we'll be good. We'll ride this out. And um, yeah. So sorry this was so chatty guys. Um, I'm going to try to upload this soon. But I don't know. I don't know. Um, but guys thanks so much for watching. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Bye bye. Take care. Especially if you're in the um, on the East Coast. Bye bye. So I started my bread machine. I should have gotten some more sugar. I didn't get any. I'm going to see if I can make dough. I really like making, um, I made pizza crust in here before. A couple loaves of bread before and dough. I haven't made a cake. And let's see, it's dark in this corner. You can make, um, I guess a basic French loaf. This thing's kind of loud. French. I'm making French now. And it's really easy. You just hit the cycle. Guys, this is not sponsored. <laughs> I bought this with my own money. I couldn't wait. I think I was on Pinterest and I was looking up different um, bread recipes or whatever and it was so fun to do. But anyway, um, they have gluten free, um, quick bread, sweet bread, one pound express, two pound express. And I think it's like three hours, if you guys can see that, and 48 minutes. So yeah, three hours and 48 minutes. Um, it will turn off by itself. I'm trying to think. I don't know if I'm staying up that long. <laughs> but anyway, and then I made sweets. We're going to have to definitely be at the gym. But sweets, and I think I'm going to um, make um, some cookies as well. So they'll kill that. JJ already been over here, asked for a muffin. And I said, don't even try it. I need to turn my oven off because I'm not going to make anything else. But, yep, and then I'll just put this in Ziploc bags um, for them to eat. Um, earlier today, I had some biscuits, and so, of course, I knew they weren't going to eat all those, but I didn't want them to go bad in the refrigerator, so I went ahead and cooked the rest of them up, or they could eat them tomorrow, whatever, so, um, yeah. And then usually I make a cake really simple, especially when I was couponing, if they wanted something sweet because it was cheaper this way, like only a dollar, and then um, add the ingredients, and I just cut it um, in squares, just like if it was um, cornbread or something, and they'll just whip, I'll just whip that together and they'll just eat that, instead of running to the gas station, which we lately have been on the move, so we love to stop at Sheets and we grab whatever but we've gotten a lot better um over the years with that because we used to like kill the debbie snacks little debbie and stuff like that and i realized um especially with couponing it's so much cheaper if we just buy 
a box of course and then um, of course with couponing you get cake boxes or boxes of cake mix for like 50 cents or whatever and they love that they love cake that's their their thing alrighty guys I'm gonna insert this footage but um, I guess as it gets closer I'm starting to think about some things and if it floods I think that I will be really surprised and um, floored if it does but if anything me and my husband said that we were concerned and my bushes need to be done guys it's just so hot outside um, we behind here they put this fence up here because it's a river track and it's a embankment it's a like a, a big old ditch so I haven't had a chance to look at it since we moved I don't I haven't been behind the fence other than to throw some weed killer or whatever and then to the left is like some woods and stuff and it's a big old ditch which I didn't realize that it was like a drop there so I don't want to pan back because it'll show our trash cans um, in this area over here because my neighbor you can see exactly um, the area but anyway I just it's a pond over here which I totally totally forgot about to today and um, I guess I was just thinking about how if that fills up then of course the ditch is gonna fill up and I just forgot about that because we don't go over there um, at all and it has like lots of what I heard that it has lots of like water moccasins and stuff like that so um, I just hope that it just doesn't flood um, they said that this could be one of the worst um, hurricanes since hazel and hazel was before I was born so um, that's just a concern for us I did check to see if we had flood insurance and something told me to get it um, though we're not in a flood prone area but when we bought the house I did look at that on the map of the what's it called um, not the buyer but the people that were selling the house DR Horton I did look at that because I just was concerned um, but it was like under extreme circumstances so um, yeah but we're not evacuating because we're like two hours from the beach um, the closest beach a little bit further from the other beaches but I am getting like papers together and stuff like that um, like the boys social security card and birth certificate hours and any other important our passports and stuff like that and um, I think they said a deed or something I might go on Pinterest and look and see what else sorry if the TV is loud but yeah but thanks guys for all of the um, support and um, the love and so forth and yeah.